Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's the weekend. You know what that means. So what is up guys once again I am here at the Krispy Kreme parking lot about to eat my donut bar donuts so let's get on with the video all right guys so got the donut bar donuts with me so I got the apple crumb cake donut always got to include a cake donut because some of the toppings look pretty good sometimes got the caramel latte had this before it's pretty good and the Boston cream. Haven't had the Boston cream before over there. That donut bar. All right, guys, got the donuts here. Let's take a look at it. Got it all decked out on my little board. Can't forget the Wendy's vanilla frosty chino. A dollar through the app. Always a dollar. Ah, satisfying. Refreshing. So good. So what shall I start with first? I want to start with the Boston cream. I haven't had this before because I always wanted to get something more fancier. So let's give this a try. Boston cream donut bar. Mm. Mm, the cream filling in there. Yum. I love cream filling. Mm. Oh man. There's nothing like donuts and coffee. Or donuts and cold coffee. Iced coffee. Frostuccino. For some reason this isn't sweet enough. Ah. They jacked me on the sweetness of that frostuccino. It's usually sweet. That one's like a little watery. Whack. Mm. That's a good Boston cream donut. And you can't go wrong with the chocolate frosting on a donut and the Boston cream inside. It's funny because the first time I tried donut bar donuts, I felt they were too bready. Part of the problem was maybe because my leftover donut, I put it in the fridge and then when I took it out later on to eat it, of course it was dry and bready. But recently, I've been eating donuts at Donut Bar for a while now and their donuts are not bad. Now this is pretty good. Not too bready. Nothing like donuts for breakfast or lunch or dinner or a snack. Man, it really sucks because I wish I could just walk into Krispy Kreme right now. But you have to order online. And I don't want to order a whole dozen, I just want a couple of them to go in there and pick and choose. It really sucks. Can't wait till the economy opens back up again. We can freely go to places and businesses can be open like regular. <clears throat> Alright guys, now I'm going to try the caramel latte. I mean, I've tried it before, but I'm going to try it again. Look at that donut. Got a whipped cream in the middle. 
caramel drizzle. And that's a, this is a good donut. I remember liking this. Pretty big in size too. Here we go. You know, I want to say peace to the guy at Donut Bar that rang me up. He recognized me and recognized my YouTube channel. He, um, he saw my review of Donut Bar. All right, thanks for the subscribe and peace, man. I want to make it that cream. I want to make it to that whipped cream in the middle. Mm. That whipped cream is good. And I'm glad I don't eat donuts every day. Not a good thing. I mean, before the COVID-19 happened, and I was going to work, every now and then, there's this guy who would bring boxes of donuts to work every now and then, frequently. His wife owns a donut shop. And I feel guilty all the time, eating donuts throughout the week, and then come weekend time, I want to be able to enjoy some sweets too. So... You know, this is a blessing in a way. You know, I don't have to eat donuts throughout the week. I mean, sometimes I try not to eat the donuts, but then it's tempting. It's there. But this way, I just keep it to a weekend thing. Sometimes on a weekend, I won't eat a donut. But, you know. Mm. In my world, donuts are essential. All right, all right. Gonna go for the cake donut now, the apple crumb, and it is crumbly. Mm. Look at the crumb topping on this donut. It looks appetizing. So that's why even though they're cake donuts, some of the toppings, they really look good. And I just can't help it, I just gotta try it out. So here we go. First bite of the apple crumb. Not bad, it's okay. Oh, but you know what was a good apple donut that I had not long ago? It was a Krispy Kreme. It was during Thanksgiving. It was a, one of the fall pie um, series donuts. They had the chocolate cream pie donut. They had a cherry cream pie donut and an apple, um, I think it was an apple pie donut. I forgot the actual names of those donuts, but it was a pie series. And the apple crumb donut was bomb way better than this it wasn't a cake donut but man that donut was on point man that donut was fire i wish i can try it again all right guys i'm really not trying to fill myself up right now so i'm just gonna stop it at this one more bite and i'm gonna take the rest home and I come prepared. I always bring a little container. Got this container from Cafe 86. That is a bomb cafe right there. Filipino um, influenced desserts. And um, they had to close down temporarily because of the COVID-19 right now. So can't wait for them to open up. Cafe 86, shout out to you. Can't wait to try your desserts again. And yeah, gonna pack my leftover donuts in this plastic container oh yeah and voila a full donut again half cake half yeast so half of the caramel latte and half of the apple crumb so again a mashup donut the caramel crumb right here you got it on Glen Rock Food Tube channel right here. Leftovers. All right, so guys, let me just give these donuts a quick rating. The first donut I ate, the first donut I consumed was the Boston Cream. That was a good donut. Um, no different from any other Boston Cream donut I've had before. So, or probably from a scale of one to five flames, what would I give that Boston Cream donut? I'd give it a... Hmm, I give it a four. 
and um, four flames out of five, the Boston cream donut. The apple crumb cake donut, I'm not into cake donuts, but it's the topping that makes me want to buy it. So, but that apple crumb donut, I'll give that from a scale of one to five flames, I'll give that apple crumb donut a 2.9. Wasn't one of my favorites. And last but not least, the caramel latte. That was a good donut. I've had it before. Yeast donut. From a scale of one to five flames, I'll give the caramel latte donut a 4.7. 4. That was a good donut. Drizzle, frosting, the little cream in the middle. Man, it was legit. It was good. 4.7 with the caramel latte donut bar donut. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That takes care of breakfast at donut bar sitting in the Krispy Kreme parking lot, and I'll see you guys in the next part of the video. Peace. Here's the hoagie, the Gaglioni hoagie. Got a lot of meat in there. Okay. Here we got the garlic fries, gar the Gaglioni garlic fries. Seasoned, tasty. Yeah, it is good. It's a little salty. It's tasty. Mm -hmm. The hoagie, hoagie pogie. A lot of meat. Oh, this is really garlicky too, the fries. Garlic fries, it's really garlicky. Leave your breath stanky. Mmm, it's garlic fries. Well seasoned, garlicky, really garlicky. Yeah. Mm. If this wasn't salty, it'd be right. It'd be good. Yep. But the, the, the sauce is good. You know. It's tasty. Mm -hmm. it's really tasty. Mm -hmm. and it's the salt ruined it. Too much salt. Get all that meat, extra meat that I had to take out. The sandwich is full of meat and salty meat at that. Too salty. 
And again, these fries, they're so drenched in oil, so greasy. Yeah, I never was a fan of thick French fries. I never was a fan of these fries either. We're a fan of the sandwiches at Gaglione, but for some reason today, the meat was just piled on top and it was really extra salty. Their sandwiches are typically good. Can't remember the last time we had Gaglione's, but it was good back then. It wasn't too salty. The meat wasn't too salty. The sandwich was on point. The fries, the fries were, to me, I still remember it greasy like this, and I never was a fan of it. It's greasy that I, I wouldn't get it anymore. <laughs> so today, it was a bomb for the sandwich. I mean, the, the taste of the sandwich is great, tasted good. It's very tasty. But the problem was, it was just too much salt and a little too much meat. <laughs> it's pretty sad because we were looking forward to Gaglioni's today, but disappointed. The sandwiches, unfortunately, weren't as good as the last time we were here. Um, you know, I understand some places have their off days and hopefully this was just an off day or a different cook or what have you. The reputation that Gaglioni's have, Gaglioni brothers have, you know, they have a good reputation for having great hoagies, sub sandwiches, cheese steak sandwiches. Um, like I said, I used to, we used to go here all the time in the past and every time we came here, we were really satisfied. Just today, for some reason, they were off. If I were to rate the sandwich back then, from a scale of one to five flames, back then I probably would have given it a high four point, what, 4.8? 4 4.8 probably back then. But for the sandwich today, unfortunately, I won't be giving it that rating. I would have to give the sandwich um, from a scale of one to five flames a, probably a, yeah, probably around a 2.8, 2.9, around that area. But I gotta pick one. I'll give it a 2.9. From a scale of one to five flames, I'll give it a 2.9 flames out of five for the sandwich today at Gaglioni Brothers. If we were to come back some other day, maybe the sandwich then would be even better. Who knows, who's to tell? So that's the rating for today. That was our experience with Gaglioni Brothers sandwich today. All right guys, so that does it for Gaglioni Brothers sandwich today. 2.9 flames out of five for today's sandwich. That does it for lunch. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Got a hollow hollow here from a place called Jochi. You got the ube ice cream inside and a shaved ice, evaporated milk, gelatin bits, sweet beans, probably some flan, and other mixtures in here. Jackfruit, probably. What you gotta do is mix this all up and it becomes a refreshing, slushy treat. Look at that ube ice cream in there. Nice. Alright, time to add a little garnish. There you go, little 
snickerdoodle cookie I got from Lazy Acres. Very nice. There you go. All right, guys, got my hollow hollow here from Jochi. Nice and refreshing. That Fubi ice cream melt on top with that shaved ice and that evaporated milk. Man, Filipino dessert right here. But I plopped the snickerdoodle cookie on top just for a garnish. All right, I'm gonna get into this right now. Here we go. get this all mixed up. It's going to be a while before I can reach the bottom and get all that goodness down below without making a mess. Let's see. Dig down deep. Mix all that in the bottom. Oops, try to bring it upwards. Oh, I got a big chunk of gelatin right there. And probably some jackfruit or something. Let's get all the sweet beans from below. Oh, that goodness. Refreshing. Oh, look at this big chunk of flan right here. Custard. Yeah. Mm. Adds the sweetness. Let's get all the goodness from below. Bring it all up in the mix. Is this a sweet bean? <laughs> sort of watery. It's supposed to taste more evaporated milk than water. I mean, because all the crushed ice. Yeah, just gotta mix it all up here. Yeah. Mix it up. Much better. Okay. I think I'm gonna need a straw for this. Alright guys, 
I think I've had enough. I think I had enough for now. That was really refreshing. Alright guys, that was Halo Halo from a place called Jochi, Filipino place, Filipino food. That does it for now. Alright guys, I'll check you guys out in the next part of the video. Peace. Many unbearable hours later. delivered to me while I'm still in the drive through line and there's still cars in front of me haven't even reached the window yet wow not that service so let's take a look and see what we got wow it's nicely neatly packed seems I got my waffle fries there I got my cookie down there in the bottom in the middle is the chicken sandwich nice now I just gotta wait for the cars to get out in front of me out of this line if I can get home All right, so we got the waffle fries right there. Got the free Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich rewards with the app. Got a chocolate chunk cookie. Been wanting to get one of these. It's been a while since I've had one. You got the Polynesian sauce. Love that sauce. And the honey mustard. All right, let's get our grub on. All right, guys, so let's get started. Take a look at this chicken sandwich right here. Nothing crazy, just the bun and the chicken breast, but it's very tasty. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little of this Polynesian dipping sauce. Ooh, it's close. Right in here. A little bit. All right, here we go. Mm. Just the seasoning, it's really good. Got some of those waffle fries. Be better if these things are crisp. Should put them, should pop them in the toaster real quick, but nah, I'm hungry. Mmm, tasty. Let's open this guy up. Honey mustard. But I think I like this better in the Polynesian. Mm. Don't forget my iced tea. Or my sweet tea. Trader Joe's. Let's put some of this honey mustard in here. Pickles. Sorry, I'm not a pickle guy. Yeah. Man, that Polynesian sauce is pretty good.
And I'm not big on fries, but these waffle fries, for some reason, taste pretty good, especially with the Polynesian sauce. Oh man, I was tempted to get a shake. Last time I was there, I had the cookies and cream shake. This time, I think I might have got the, the, what do you call it? The frozen coffee or whatever you call it. I forget what it's called. Mm. Mmm, that's crisp. Mmm. Hey, you got a french fry. I love these little bits they have in here. No, it's not that often that I go to Chick-fil-A. But hey, got a free chicken rewards on the app. So I had to redeem it. I wasn't about to let it pass by. Mm. Look at that chicken. It's a pretty tasty sandwich. Even if it's a plain sandwich, just the bread and the chicken breast and a couple of pickles. The seasoning, the taste, it's on point. And the last time I had this sandwich, it was crispy, so that made it that much better. To me, I need texture in what I eat. Like, I enjoy a good crunch, especially in chicken sandwiches. I mean, the chicken can be seasoned very well. It tastes really good. If I were to eat another chicken sandwich that tasted decent and it had a nice crisp to it, it's that crisp, that experience or that crunch that leaves a memorable imprint. Mm. That is some good dipping sauce. All right. I'm gonna leave these to my wife. She loves these fries. She's more of a fry person than I am. Iced tea, sweet tea. Oh yeah, that was a satisfying sandwich. All right guys, it's dessert time. Do you know what that means? Oh yeah, mmm, Chick-fil-A chocolate chunk cookie. Let's open this up and let's get into it. Look how melty that is. Chocolate chips are still melty. Look at the thickness for a fast food spot to have chocolate chip cookies. This is a nice average size for a cookie from a fast food joint. I can feel the nice crispy edge. I know it's still a little warm and it's still probably chewy in the middle and soft and gooey. You can see the chocolate chips still melting. Got some nuts in there, I believe. 
or oats or something walnut we shall see look at that oh yeah yum all right let's give this a taste here we go mm. nice bite nice fill nice chewiness nice melty chocolate chips or chocolate chunks nice crunch to the edges with that chewiness taste is there texture is there mm. thickness is there size your average size for a fast food joint like I said So those are the four criteria I judge a cookie by. Taste, thickness, texture, and size. Mm, love the texture. Chewy, melty, tasty. Chick-fil-A's got a legit cookie. I felt this way before, a long time ago when I had this cookie. It's been a while. Mm. That is good. Man, those edges. It's all about the edges. My wife might want some. She's not big on sweet things, so. Just leave a little bit for her. All right, guys, that was Chick-fil-A. The Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich rewards from the app, along with a medium-sized waffle fries a chocolate chunk cookie and some Trader Joe's sweet tea that does it for my dinner and hope you guys enjoyed the video please give me a like a share and a subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos and I'll see you guys in the next video peace